Yeah, oftentimes celebrities know, you know what they say. They know what they speak about in interviews because, well, they're the ones who do them. <laughs> so these people know what's public information and what's not. And for me, uh, my job is really to get specific validations, last moments, people's intimate memories, details that are so specific and accurate that there's no way you could Google it or research it. And being a medium in the public eye and especially dealing with public figures, um, I have to really kind of up the ante and make sure that I'm getting those details, which are really, I think, what gives it credibility and what allows for these transformations to happen. I mean, another one of those moments I saw was Gus Kenworthy, right? The Olympic yeah. skier, you know, freestyle skier. And he, you know, he's sort of uh, skeptical a little bit. He's sort of, you know, feeling you out. And then immediately, almost in the first minute, he sort of, you, you say a few things that have him break down. I mean, do you see that often? What was it like meeting him for the first time and doing that session? Oh, well, Gus was really special. I didn't recognize him when he opened the door. The Olympics hadn't happened yet, so that might be why. But um, he was so lovely. And, you know, when he went into it, I could definitely tell there was a little, maybe a little apprehension. He was pretty skeptical. But as we sat together, his friend came through who uh, had, had fallen off of a vehicle and passed away. And Gus had been there at the time of his accident when he was very young. And he kept showing me this bird, but he, he kept acknowledging a name. And I didn't know what this was. It was like, I'm seeing a bird nickname, bird nickname. And <laughs> Gus called his friend Hoot. And Hoot called Gus Goose. <laughs> so they both had bird nicknames for each other. <laughs> mm. 